What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Smallville. I'm very excited. You know, I just realized I didn't explain in episode 5. New shirt, new shirt. I'm going to alternate every week. Thought it would be boring just wearing the same shirt every week. So, I got a Superboy shirt. Today we are on to episode 6, probably a couple hours prior to this video coming out. You probably just watched episode 5. Again, apologies for it coming out two days late. Got busy working this week, so I do apologize. But anyways, today we are here with episode 6 entitled Hourglass. Now episode 5, loved it. It was great. I didn't remember the last one pretty much at all. This one, just off the description, I remember it a little bit. So. I'm very excited to jump into this episode, see how much I do remember and don't remember. Most likely, I probably won't remember much, but I'm ready to find out. Are you ready? I'm ready. So, do me a favor, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell so you get notified every time I drop a new episode of Smallville, every Tuesday and Thursday. You don't wanna miss out on this fun, fun journey. And if you want the full experience, watching the full length reaction, go check it out on my Patreon page, linked in the description below. You don't wanna miss out. So. Without further ado, let's get into episode 6, entitled Hourglass. Let's go. It's a long walk home, Mr. Ross. Check your pockets. Oh, man. I left my keys in the car. Dude, you're on your own. Oh, wow. So she can, she kind of, not tell the future maybe, but she can kind of get a sense of things, I guess? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the guy. This is the bad guy thing. Because he was once a murderer or something, right? You're a doll. Okay. So just a heads up, I do recall he's going to fall into this lake or something, which gives him powers because it, it like makes him young again. Whoa, that de-aging effect actually looked all right, you know. Someone close to you is going to die. Very soon. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, I know from the description of the episode that it has something to do with Jonathan Kent, because Jonathan's dad, I believe, was on the jury that convicted, helped convict that guy to prison. I mean, I don't remember what happens from here on, but I know for a fact none of the main characters in this title sequence are going to die. Where do I know this actor from? I can't place it. Let me know in the comments who this guy is because he looks so familiar, but I can't pinpoint why. I met with the administrator, you know, to tell them what I knew about Harry. The police were there. Well, it's a missing person case. It's not unusual. That's not the reason. Harry Bolston's real name is Harry Volk. He was a murderer, Clark. A murderer? He said the teacher killed his dream, so he killed the teacher's dream. The man's son. Whoa. Man, last episode we had a villain who was like somewhat sympathetic because it wasn't his fault that he was in the way, the condition he had. But this guy's just a lose. This guy sucks. This might be the worst person because he's actually like, before the accident here that made him young again, he was just a straight up murderer. I've got so many questions in my life, I just want some answers. Get closer. So this, is this actually the first person we've met who got affected by the meteorites who's actually a good person? Crazy. What? What? Yo, that's cool. That's a cool shot. I mean, the situation isn't cool, but that's a, whoa. That was no. sick. You saw that too. Clark. 
Well, I guess she can't see, but to be honest, just from her powers, she probably will either find out or already knows that he's super. I can only tell the future of the person I touch. <laughs> Do it, Lex. Goodbye, Miss Carver. It's been enlightening. Come back again. When you're ready. I mean, her saying that line makes me think he will come back. I hope he comes back. I want to see what happens when he touches her hand and what she sees. That would be interesting. I thought high school would be different. I could finally start putting it behind me. But everywhere I go, there it is. Maybe I should just accept my destiny. All I'm ever going to be is a little girl in a fairy princess costume who lost her parents. It's a bad way to look I don't at see it. That way. I know you don't, Clark. You're the only one who doesn't. That's a weird thing to say since you have a boyfriend, Whitney. Does he not see that either? Like, because if he's not seeing it, but you're saying Clark does, then I think you're with the wrong man. So, just saying, maybe reevaluate that, Lana. You saw that, whatever it was. I always see them. The question is, how did you? Oh, yeah, true. They never see what she sees, and he did. That's odd. We both know you're not like other people. I figured she would know. Sure I am. No, Clark, I've seen you. I think that's your destiny, Clark, to help people, to save them from fear and darkness. Clark, your secret's safe with me. I like her. I like her a lot. This is crazy though. We're only on episode, what, six? And we're already getting teases of Superman? That's awesome. I love that. Oh, no. no way he got away. Wow, okay. <laughs> Yo! Okay, look, the CGI looks terrible, but that is a sick shot, and I respect them so much for doing that. Not to mention, just from a writer's standpoint, that was so unexpected. I thought it was gonna be like a, he got away, and then cut to black, but no. That was sick, I love that. I'm here to pick up the kid from the beanery assault, take him into custody. Right, the young John Doe. He's all yours. We got him locked up in here. I checked on him this morning. He's sleeping like a baby. Oh, no. Oh, he reverted back. Help me. So that's weird, though. Why would he revert back to his old age? That doesn't make any sense. Because everybody else who gets affected by the rocks stays that way. I don't know. How do you even get back outside? That's just ridiculous. Who, who's working there? Who let, who let that happen? That's ridiculous. They need to be fired. Can I help you? Oh no. I got a report about a gas leak. You uh, mind if I come in? Nah, that'll be fine. Oh, he cut the phone line. If only cell phones existed back then. Oh, that's creepy. I don't like that. Kent isn't your regular gas man, is he, Mrs. Kent? What do you want? Kill your husband. Hurry, Martha, hurry. Oh, he slashed the tires. Of course he did. He may be a psychopath, but he's not stupid. I mean, he's stupid for doing what he's doing, but like, he's smart in the sense that he thought to cut the phone line and slash the tires so she couldn't get away. No way he's sharpening the blade right now. This guy sucks. We need him to die by the end of this episode, please. You went to the one place you can't escape? Martha. I thought you were smarter than that. 
And no one can hear you scream. You so dumb. I'm disappointed in you, Martha. Ah, crap. Oh, at least she kicked the knife, uh, the knife, the machete away from him. Except now she's got to worry about getting buried alive. Martha! Martha! Come on, Mom, breathe. Martha! Alright, cool. Cool. He's gonna pop out, isn't he? There is definitely an attempted jump scare coming in any second. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Oh, he's old again. He might die. <laughs> I wanted to take you up on your offer. I thought you controlled your own destiny. I do. But certain things have happened in my life. Signs I don't want to ignore. What kind of science? I lived when I should have died. There must be a reason for that. You see, I don't want to do good things. I want to do great things. All right, I'm very excited to see Lex's vision. What are we going to see? Evil? Ooh, the white suit, President Luther? The CGI is terrible, but... Oh! That's a lot of skeletons. Raining blood. Oh, and he's got the black glove as well. What is going on? That is crazy. What did you see? She's dead. Oh my gosh. Oh, his future is so dark that it killed her. That's nuts. She's gone. She saw it. Saw so what? Someone close to you is gonna die, and it was her. Okay. Wow. Wow, and that's how we end that? Whoa. Okay, that was great. I really love the ending. Woo. That was Smallville episode six entitled Hourglass. And the main story was okay with the, the old man who was once a killer falling into the lake, getting brought back to his youth, and then him trying to go kill the people, family members of people who were the jurors who sentenced him to prison. Like, that's whatever, I guess. I mean, that guy sucked. What I mean when I say he sucks is he's just a horrible person. Like, he's terrible. There's nothing good about him. He was a murderer, and as soon as he gets to be young again, does he take that as an opportunity to live life a new and oh you know i was a, a bad person in my youth now i can start over no no he decides i'm gonna continue what i started when i was young and just kill people it's like bro come on are you serious so that guy sucked but the other storyline with this blind woman who had the ability to see the future and stuff like that that was really cool i can't believe i don't remember this at all. I've seen this episode, but I did not remember her at all. The way it ends with her dying after re seeing Lex's future of just darkness. Very sick. However, the CG in this episode, awful. Very bad. Probably the worst CG I think we've seen thus far, which is unfortunate because we're coming off the previous episode where I said the CG, not even really, I guess the CG, but more or less the effects were like top notch in my opinion last episode. I'm not surprised. We're gonna have episodes here and there, I'm sure, where the visual effects and the CG just aren't that great and that's okay. It didn't distract me from experiencing that awesome ending with Lex and, and the blind woman. That was really cool and I really liked her too, so it sucks that she died. But anyways, I really enjoyed this episode. It was a blast. 
Let me know, guys, what you think of the episode. Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the bell so you get notified every time I'm dropping a new episode of Smallville every Tuesday and Thursday. Now, again, this week was a little bit of a fluke because I, I, I was busy with work the other day. And so episode five that was meant to come out on Tuesday didn't, and it came out today. So apologies about that. But next week should be back to normal. And hopefully from here on out, we'll be back to normal every Tuesday, Thursday. So stay tuned for that. And if you want to go see the full length reaction of this episode and the other episodes I've done, you can on my Patreon page linked in the description below. Hope to see you over on Patreon. But that's it for me this week. Can't wait for next week with more Smallville. I'm hyped. This is hype. So without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. That's a wrap. Woo! I am on break. I'm going to live like a king by doing my thing. Hey, I am on break. I'm going to live life free. I'm going to do it like me. Yeah, yeah. I am on break. No, this is not fake. I'm just chilling on break.